Okay, Larkin, you need to go over. Whoa. You need to go over by Colin, please. And stand over there. This is our Ram Sparkles. He's built a little bit different than our other two Rams, so what we went ahead and did is test fitted this marking harness on him. Um, just because the way his body's shape is a little bit different than the big Ram, who has a really super deep chest, and the other Ram's a lot wider. Um, so when we wrapped him up uh, and got this thing to fit him, I used this vet wrap to wrap up the loose ends of this harness. Um, in a couple weeks, we'll probably have to readjust it because they end up losing some weight uh, once we put them in with the U's. And so this will just keep it out of the way so it's not going to get hung up on anything because this was an extra large harness that we had for use with our Ram Burt. And like I said, I just had to doctor it up a little bit to get it to fit him right and not be able to get caught on stuff. And like right here is the overlap on this center section. There was a lot here because like I said, the other Ram has a lot deeper chest than this guy. So this vet wrap makes it comfortable. It's not gonna rub against the skin and give him any irritations or anything. Uh, and it keeps that extra harness out of the way so he's not gonna get caught on anything. So we got him in this pen of use. He's kind of checking everything out, checking out his surroundings. He's not as actively pursuing the use as our other experienced Rams when we put him in the pen, but this is also the earliest that we have put a Ram in with use here. Um, so we're just gonna kind of stand back, check on him a little bit later in the day and see if anybody has any marks on him. So as I was editing this video, all the rest of the film from that day doesn't have any sound to it. I must've changed the setting on the camera when I turned it on and off uh, throughout the day. I'm not really sure what I did. So I'm just gonna go over what I was talking about in there. So with our flock, currently we have three Rams. Last year we had two. Um, for the size of our flock, that's a lot of Rams. We actually get some people say, oh, we're just feeding Rams just to feed them. We don't need all three, that it's just a waste of hay and feed for us. But with using those two Rams last year, it was able to help us spread out lambing. That way we were able to fill our appointments that we needed to later on in the fall um, by being able to spread it out and have different sets of lambs at different times. And also these rams all offer something different between the three of them. So this year we purchased some yearling replacement ewes. These ewes are more Hampshire influenced in their breeding. They have more of what people consider a club lamb look. They have a lot woolier legs, more woolier head. They got more of a stocky body than a lot of our Suffolk's. And that's why we added this ram that is a Hampshire influenced ram to our flock because we wanted to be able to use him with these girls here so then that way we'd be able to market those lambs first as 4-H projects and any of the lambs that didn't sell for that we'd be able to finish out and use in our meat sales. So when we selected this group for this Hampshire influenced ram we used those five yearling ewes and we also went through our flock with the remaining ewes that we had and picked out any ewes that had that Hampshire influence to them and what we ended up with was a group of ewes and ram that were all very similar in size and muscle structure. 
This is gonna be a positive for us because it should basically produce carbon copies of these animals. And also it should make lambing a little bit easier on these smaller framed ewes uh, because we're using a very similar sized ram with them. So currently our plan right now is we have this ram in with this first group of ewes. He will be in there for 17 days at which time we'll change his marking crown color and we'll also at that point add our second ram in and he is our registered Suffolk ram. Um, he is in also with a group of ewes uh, that are our registered Suffolk ewes. They're all very similar in shape and size. He'll go in with them and then he'll spend 17 days in with them and at the end of that second 17 day period we will add our third ram in with his group of ewes and that is our large frame ewes, all of our biggest ewes that we have and the hopes for that is, is that all those lambs will be our late fall uh, lamb orders and they will produce some of the biggest frame lambs and heaviest lambs that we will raise all year and those will all go for meat sales. And what we hope to accomplish by running these three lambs, well we're hoping that by only having a pen of 10 ewes in with these rams, they're able to cover them in a shorter amount of time, make three bursts of lambing basically, that way we can get it over uh, and we know to watch these group of 10 ewes at this period of time and then we'll have a little bit of a break and then watch the second group of 10 ewes and then so on. We're hoping by matching these rams up with ewes that are similar in shape and size to them that it's going to make lambing easier, it's going to make the lambs grow better, uh, we're hoping it'll be more successful in birth rates for our lambs by doing this, and just overall ease of delivery for the ewes, making things a lot easier on them. But that's the thing really, we won't know until the spring if it, any of this is going to work in our favor, or if we're just crazy for trying it, but we figured it was worth a try, and so far it seems to be going pretty good for us, so we'll just see how that goes. Well that'll wrap up this video, thanks for watching.